Hello, Brad Pitt. Well, big hit movies come and go, but only a few have the impact of a film that sparked two sequels and three prequels and still gets people dressing up like these Star Wars fans. I mean, where would we be without lightsabers and Wookiees, without Luke and Leia, R2-D2 and C-3PO, without Darth Vader, Yoda or the Force, where would we be without Star Wars? Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. That's no moon. It's a space station. A long time ago, in a movie theatre or a drive-in not so far away, Star Wars changed Hollywood movies forever. Red 5 standing by. It had amazing special effects for the time. I can't see it! And a classic story of good guys battling bad guys, rescuing princesses, and saving the world. Today, the famous lines are so familiar... Use the force, Luke. It's hard to imagine it could have been any different. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take it away! The character of Luke Skywalker was originally going to be a 60-year-old man, then a midget, until creator George Lucas settled on a 20-year-old. Young awesome. actor Mark Hamill scored the role, beating William Catt, who went on to be the greatest American hero. Hamill's first big hurdle was making sense of the script. But we can't turn back. Fear is their greatest defense. I doubt if the actual security there is any greater than it was on Aquilae or Sullust, and what there is is most likely directed towards a large-scale assault. And you kind of went, huh? Who talks like this? What is Aquilae or Sullust? Well, they're two moons or planets or whatever. But what a line! Even as they were making the film, iconic names that we now take for granted were actually last-minute changes. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. We had to go back and reshoot that scene because we shot it originally under my co character's original name. I'm Luke Starkiller. I'm here to rescue you. And then they did all these focus groups. Think, well, 60% of women between the ages of 24 and 39 think, uh, you know, Star Killer has something to do with the Charles Manson murders. <laughs> you know, we had memos like that. Can you put uh, some pants on the Wookiee? That's not wise to upset a Wookiee. We're just sending footage back to Los Angeles, and this is what the executives are looking at the Wookiee's crotch? Oh my God, we're in big trouble. It launched in May 1977, and soon after, the world went Star Wars crazy. It quickly became the highest grossing movie in history with the most passionate fans. Uh, you know, I've flunked, routinely flunked Star Wars trivia contests. Um, where did the Wookiee go to college? You know, there's no multiple choice for who cares. Do or do not. There is no try. After the sequels, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Hamill found himself well and truly typecast as Luke Skywalker. I am your father. No! I'm Scrape Turnip. I want to talk to the boy in blue. Mark found a new outlet as a voice in cartoons. It's Joker here, the clown prince of crime. I sense we are kindred spirits, you and I. Oh, and then I got tied as a villain. So I've done, I don't know, five, six hundred cartoons since 92 when I first did the Joker. And I would say about 70% of them are villains. His latest project is a comic called The Black Pearl. It's a character study of someone who's really slowly going mad. So far, there hasn't been anything like it, and that's the thing that excites me. The Force will be with you, always.